Hey love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and light, love and blessings and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have not already, please like and subscribe, even hit the notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you resonate with my video, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you feel like you would love to comment or enjoy what you have heard, go ahead and drop me a few lines. I love to get the positive feedback and I always respond to every comment I get. And thank you so much for the love and support once again. And for my returning subs, what's up fam? Much love to you. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you too. And thank you so much once again for the love and support. Today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Through every dark day, find the positive light. Yes, through every dark day, find a positive light. Um, today I'm listening to relaxing sleep, deep uh, stress relief meditation music. I will be listening, uh, listing it in the link. In the description with the link down below. I'm getting tongue tied today. I'm so sorry. It's been a busy day today. Um, through every dark day, find a light. I mean, there's days that we go through things you, you, on your journey or everyday life or whatever when you feel like you're get you want to give up. You want to feel stagnant. Uh, you feel like things are not fair. Things are not right. You do these things this day, this day, and this day, but still you find you don't find the future fusion or fusion or you know not fusion but fusion off of the things that that you want or you desire and stuff like that but it, you always have to look for the positive through everyday life you always have to look for the positive no matter how negative it is because it's like on your journey you're going to go through so many different things and there's going to be so many times that you get frustrated with people. You can be frustrated with your job. You can be frustrated with your children. Frustrated on trying to figure out how the heck you're going to make one bill pay for the next. You know, how you're going to have one check pay for the bills for the next. You know, it. it you know, we all go through these things. We all go through them. And it becomes easier at times. And I know sometimes it's hard to hear that or it's hard. It's like it's easier said than done. But yes, but you have to always look at the positive light throughout things. And it can be hard at times. And it's just life was not meant to be perfect. Life was not supposed to be a bed of roses either. But life was basically, it's like our own soap opera that we're playing our own role in it's just like sometimes it can feel you know sometimes I feel like I'm in a matrix sometimes I feel like I'm in a coma and it, this is the part that I have to play you know we have done things that we felt like we probably got away with in the past and we're probably paying for it now you know because you never know you, you might think you might get away with things and they sometimes have a weird, weird way of coming back and it, it's just like when going through things like this day by day, it can get hard. It can get frustrating. You're, you're ready to quit. But it's it's not meant for you to go through this and you feel like you're being punished because you're not being punished. You know, and sometimes it feels that way because I used to always think that, you know, I'm being punished for things. I'm, you know, I'm going through this and it's like life you know, I say that in a lot of my videos, we think life is happening to us, but it's only reacting to us. It's reacting to the things that we push out into the world. And sometimes it can be hard. You know, for example, like with my situation, um, my family has enough information <laughs> to where they can stop my father's court case right now. They wouldn't even have to have been going through this stuff for the last two years, going on three. They wouldn't be able to, you know, and it's just like every time I hit a brick wall, I, get fr I used to get frustrated and I think about, you know, you have this and you have that and you, you have the things to help me get home to get to my family and stuff like that. But you did undermine it, illegal stuff to where, you know, I'm the only one have to fight for me. But it's like, I can't keep blaming them for what they have done because that has happened to me. It's not happening to me. And, you know, sometimes it was hard for me to deal with that. And it's just like knowing the story, you know, a lot of people were just like, you know, you're pretty strong because I don't know if I would have been able to handle it as well as you would have. And I mean, it, it became hard at times. So it's just like I use my, my um, situation 
as basically a tool for me to heal and be able to make my videos and I said I'm not going to allow the, me to have give them that power to be angry with them about the things that they've done to me in the past because eventually you know when I let that go the universe will whatever you push out to the universe will tend to come back to you so I can't give them that power over me because if I do they'll win so it's just like I can't stay mad at them like that. You know, I have to be able to continue to do my job and continue to tell my story and allow my story to be heard and be able to heal from what I went through and be able to help others heal on their process of going through whatever they're going through. So it's just like when I looked at that and I used to look at it as such a negative thing. And it's really not a negative thing, you know, if I look at it from a different perspective. You know, even though it was a really messed up thing to go through, I had to look at it as like, this is a tool for you to be strong. You know, eventually your truth will be out there. Eventually your truth will be known to millions of people of what Prince Rogers Nelson's daughter went through. And how she was able to cope and get, not actually cope, but deal with what she had went through as being his daughter or whatever. But it, it's just like when you go through things, you can't allow what you're going through to hinder you or stop you from being a better person, stopping you from being a better version of yourself. You have to keep moving no matter how many times you hit that speed bump or you come to that big brick wall. There's a different direction you can always go to. There's always a different way to get around what you what you really need or what you really desire because there's always you know you can't tell yourself you have to have that confidence in your confidence in yourself to be able to know you know what whatever I'm facing right now is not a permanent situation you know how am I going to be able to fix from this how am I going to be able to grow from this you know you have to look at it a positive thing you can't sit up here and sulk and just you know wait for a pity party to come in you know, because anybody, nobody's not going to buy your worries. Nobody's, you know, that's why I just, you know, I say what I say. And it's not to look for any pity party or have anybody feel sorry for me. But it's just to let you know that you can get through whatever you're going to get through. And things might not look so gloom right now. You might not know where your path is taking you. But trust me, everything is happening for you for exact reason. And I, I, I can't can't tell you the reason why that's happening to you but only you can figure that out so it's just like with me you know I, I learn and grow from it every day and there might be days I might be frustrated and, you know I used to get mad at my family saying you know this is your fault you know I, I wouldn't be going through this if it wasn't for you but you know everything happened to me for the reason why they happened you know, and I'm learning from the process, I'm growing from it, it made me a lot stronger, and it's just like going through this journey, you know, like I can look at my old videos, and it's just like, I'm like, wow, you have really grown, you have really been able to heal from a thing, even when I don't have all the answers, you know, I'm still healing from, healing from this, so I'm not trying to hold you guys up, well, hold you you love bugs up today <laughs> i'm trying to change that with the you know guys thing to be politically correct so i hope everybody has a blessed day and i'll keep you in my prayers and hope you do the same for me like and subscribe even hit that notification bell if you have not already please drop me a line or two i love to get the positive feedback and i hope everybody has a blessed prosperous week and be safe at everything you do and oh i would love to say a prayer out to um the Parkland, Calif uh, not California, but Florida, they had a shooting um, yesterday. So I would love to go ahead and give my, condo uh, not condolences, but my prayers out to the people that were injured in this this crazy shooting that we have. I wish the world would get better. This is the reason why I don't like watching the news because of stuff like this. But I hope everybody stays safe. Keep each other in your prayers and a much love and light as positive vibes you can possibly can. And I will see you on my next video. Peace and be wild.